I'm Shane Heap, Sheriff of Elbert County, Colorado. This is in response to President Obama's visit on April 3rd, 2013. We are deeply saddened that it has taken the tragic events of this last year for people to take notice of the fundamental violence problems that we have in our country. We also deeply regret that these tragic events have only served to be a launching point for political agendas and grandstanding. A more intense discussion should be about why people are acting out so violently and using any kind of instrument they can find, even if it's driving a car into a Walmart and attacking innocent people with a club. First of all, we respect the right of our fellow law enforcement organizations who operate in urban settings to pass local laws which work best for their needs. We, unlike our state legislature, know that there are very different needs from urban and rural departments. That's why we elect local law enforcement. The source of frustration, and in some cases, the passionate speaking out of some of our fellow sheriffs, is because of the extreme measures of our state legislature. To enact laws that are both constitutionally questionable and punitive to law-abiding citizens who have done nothing wrong borders on legislative abuse. We're in favor of keeping guns out of the hands of violent criminals, but we believe it can be done without stripping the rights of law-abiding citizens. This must stop. The President flew in today from Washington, D.C., which has the highest per capita murder rate in the nation, and he wants to tell Colorado what to do. We are frustrated with this kind of political hypocrisy. Mr. Obama has fought vehemently for the right to use drone strikes in foreign countries without cumbersome bureaucratic oversight. We applaud his tactic of addressing the source of terrorism and violence through these strikes. However, his domestic policy has been to legislatively carpet bomb law-abiding citizens with excessive restrictions. He continues to fail in addressing the violence in our society, which operates outside the law and outside his broad legislative attack on constitutional rights. He has spent billions of dollars and countless American lives defending our border between Afghanistan and Pakistan, even venturing into Pakistan over the objections of its government to root out violence. Yet our borders remain porous and illegal guns stream across unabated, endangering both our citizens and all of the innocents involved in border crossings. He has spent billions providing much needed protection for school children in foreign countries and yet has not spent one dime to give an armed protection to our children's schools. Why aren't our children and our border defended? Why won't he treat us at least as well as he treats foreign countries? He came here today to push his political agenda in our state and laud the legislative excess of fellow extreme legislators. He's been part of the choir that leverages tragedy to enact extreme legislation, which ignores the root problems of violence and anger in our country. Had these new gun laws been in effect in Newtown, they would not have stopped the senseless massacre of innocent children because the shooter used someone else's legally purchased guns. The long-term ineffectiveness of Mr. Obama's actions and political showmanship only lacked a flight suit, aircraft carrier, and a sign proclaiming mission accomplished. The political hypocrisy of our state legislature is no different. While they push to enact extreme restrictions against honest citizens' Second Amendment rights, they also try to abolish the death penalty. This just as the prosecution begins in their case against a shooter in the Aurora Theater Massacre. It is fundamentally wrong to be increasing restrictions on those who have committed no crime while easing the punishment for one of the most vicious killers in recent history. That should alert all of us that the present legislative majority is not acting for the long-term interest of our state and they are not truly committed to reducing crime, but simply promoting their social agendas. We firmly believe the citizens of Colorado are being misled by politicians who promise that restricting and punishing law-abiding citizens who have done nothing wrong will somehow change the actions of those using and obtaining guns illegally. You cannot stop criminals by punishing the 99.9% .9 of honest people. While it is politically expedient, it's tactically ineffective. Rather than partisan politicians, we need statesmen who will admit we have a deeper problem of violence in our country and address it with wisdom. Anyone who dares challenge the present extreme political environment is maligned and demonized. Even so, we must speak out. We're the ones, we're the first responders to violent people with guns. And because our deputies bravely stand between the innocent victims and the shooters, we, more than anyone else, want to prevent violent people from using any instrument 
which can kill or harm others. We want enforceable laws that address the criminals and not innocent citizens. As long as we have a culture of violence in our country, people will find ways to commit atrocities. We should not rest until we have addressed this culture of violence rather than the, just the in, instruments that they choose to use. We want leaders to discuss how people get so emotionally distraught, and yet family, neighbors, friends, and even some doctors ignore all the warning signs. We want real solutions that work, not grandstanding and unenforceable laws that promote social agendas over the real protection of our citizens. It is time we get real with the problems facing our state and our nation, and quit using fear and legislative grandstanding to enact more regulations that only serve to punish honest citizens. We plead for statesmen who have the courage to take the lead in dispelling the political divisions driven by our leaders for their own advancement. We want the violence to stop, not just left unaddressed so it can find a new instrument of death when the guns are all gone.